Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name is Seska and this is Seska Digital Budgeting. Now today we are stuffing my first paycheck of April and I'm super excited about it. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so we are stuffing my first paycheck of April. Now, today we are going to be budgeting out $1,919. So yes, I did work a little bit more overtime than I normally do, so this paycheck is a little bit higher. Uh, that paycheck was $1,879 that we're budgeting, and then I had $40 left over from my spending allowances last week. So the total that we're budgeting again, $1,919. And I believe of that $1,919, we are actually stuffing $1,649 because remember, 270 of that is going to my spending allowances and I don't keep that in cash. So let's just go ahead and start on off with counting this money. All right. Wow. It's a nice little handful. I'm not going to start off with the whole thing in my hand because I feel like that's a bad thing. Eh, well, maybe we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So, 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 49. So one thousand six hundred and forty nine dollars. Right. All right. How's y'all's week been? As I'm trying to organize my money over here. Has it been good? Good start of the month? Huh? Mine hasn't been too shabby. Got to actually have a social life for a day and hung out with a friend and you know, that's all good. It's a good way to start my week. I worked a five day weekend. <laughs> so that was my reward is I'm going to go crazy, so I'm going to hang out with a friend. We went to breakfast. It was great. It was delicious. Went to a place, a breakfast, a little breakfast cafe that I'd never been to. It was fantastic. So that was for me. Hopefully you had some great start to your week too. All right. So let's just go ahead and jump on into this. So we got our money all sorted and counted. We're going to go ahead and jump right on into the bills section that I will be stuffing. So and bills doesn't change. These amounts are pretty much the same every single week. They're not pretty much the same. They are the same every single week. So let's just go ahead and start off with the big one. Rent. Freaking hate rent. Anybody else hate rent? But can't afford a mortgage payment or a down payment even to start with the whole thing? Yeah, no. Same. Same girl, same. Already. So again, I don't count these binders throughout the week. I just update my tracker here in the back after I'm done stuffing it for y'all. So I will update that later. Alrighty. Okay. And I still have the same envelope for two of my my, my other portions of the rent thing, you know, you, you, you guys know, you guys know at this point in time. So for utilities, it's getting 35 and get that all sorted. All right. Okay. So 35 went in there and then for internet, it's getting 18. There you go. Alrighty. Let me pick up the folder. Oh, Lord, I'm struggling today. Struggle then. Alright, car insurance is getting its normal 85, 70, 80, 85. Mm 
Man, I can't get my, my fingers together. My fingers don't know what they're doing. Alrighty. It's car insurance. Next is going to be power, which is going to be $40. We'll just try and speed right through this. All right, vet bills is getting 45 it's per usual. Cat stuff, you know, litter, cat food, all that fun stuff. $20 going right on in here. I'm not even going to pull this out because it's half a struggle. We're just throwing that right in there on top because that's easier. Phone is also getting 20. And subscriptions. Last one in this binder. Also getting $20. Alright. So that's it for my bill folder here. And then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show my spending allowances once again. Um, I kept it the same as last week because I didn't overspend. Um, I did kind of really good with that. I actually barely spent anything, or I felt like I barely spent anything. Um, so gas is getting 50 again. Food slash groceries is getting 120 again. Coffee is getting 50, and just for general spending is also another $50. So we're just going to go right on over here to my sinking funds where we're going to start on counting, okay? So we're going to start here. Alrighty. So... School? School is not getting anything, as usual. I am going to count it, though, because um, beginning of next week, I have to pay for my summer semester, so I want to know how much is in there. All right? I know I have enough to pay for summer semester, but, you know, whatever. Just, you know, for funsies, counting it. One, two, three. Oh, I left one in there. See? I was like, that's not right. So, one, two, three, four thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred. 650, 660, 661. So $4,661. Oops, that's not right. Wrong one. Alrighty. So I think my tuition for the summer semester coming up is a little bit over 15. It's either 15, it's between 15 and $1,600. So that'll be dropping down to about 3000 um, for the next uh, paycheck stuffing that I will be doing. Next up is main savings. Main savings is getting $187. Alright, let's count that because I'm, I'm, I spaced out there for a second. Alright, so 150, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87. 187 going in to my main savings. All right, so let's find out what we got in here. So we've got 1,000, 2,000, 100, 2, 3, 4, 450, 500, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. All right, so $2,551. Going in. Alrighty. Okay. Now, next. Month ahead. Month ahead is getting $400. Okay. So, if you have been paying attention or have watched any of my recent videos, you will know that my roommate is moving out in July. End of July. Beginning of August. So, I'm stocking up a little bit of cash in my month ahead folder and my bills folders so that I can pay his half of the rent on top of my half of the rent when he moves out without having to like you know break the bank every single month so I'm, I'm saving now for it so that I have it when I need it so it is getting $400 I had a little bit of a bigger paycheck so I just took advantage of that and decided to throw extra money into month ahead and you know if I find a roommate in the next two or three months party cool let's go let's do it um but right now, I don't have a roommate lined up, so um, I'm just going to prepare for what comes next, alright? And I'm just going to go ahead and say, 
that this is a little bit higher than it was in my end of month video because silly me filmed next week's video before this video <laughs> like literally just before and I didn't think about it because uh, I, I filmed out of order so there's a little extra a little extra bonus that's coming in next week okay so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit different all right so we've got 102 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1000 a month ahead 100 200 300 400 500 520 530 535 1535 in month ahead so if you want to know where that money came to, came from what did i say one five three five yeah if you want to know where that extra money came from you're gonna to have to watch next week's video i've already filmed it and it'll be coming up next friday all right so moving right along we're going to vacation vacation is getting its normal 50 dollars. so that is going to be 1000 100 200 350 1350 All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, next is gonna be auto repair. Auto repair is gonna be getting $35, 20, 30, 35, $35. All ready. So in auto, we've got 100, 2, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So 365, and while we're in, that's not right, while we're in my auto folder, my car is currently in the shop. Yay, she says sarcastically. Um, I basically brought it in for an oil change um, and it had been kind of getting a little bit higher than it normally would. Um, so I'm having him check that out. So it may be more than just a simple oil change. I don't know. So he's checking it out, seeing if anything needs to be done. So that might be going away soon we'll see um i'll probably have it back within a day or two but i'm already filming this video so y'all won't know until next paycheck Alrighty, so emergency fund is getting 50 dollars getting a little 50 dollar bill there so in emergency fund we've got a 100 2 3 350 370 380 385 Alrighty, and then last in this bill folder is my new car, which is going to get 35 $20, $30, $35. And the more, the farther into uh, this year I get, the less likely I think it is that I'm going to be getting a new car next year. I'm going to keep saving for it. We're going to try. However, it just uh, kind of depends on uh, how this year unfolds. I know it's only April. A lot of things can change, but you know, we're just going to keep saving for it. If I get a new car next year, cool. If I don't, it's fine. I'll continue saving and then, you know, it'll happen when it happens, right? You know? So in new car, we've got 100, 200, 300, 4, 450, 470, 480, 485. You know, you gotta try and stay positive. I mean, I'm pretty good at, you know, going with the flow of things, and if things don't work out the way that I expect them to, that's cool. That's fine. No big deal. I really just want a new car. <laughs> Alrighty. So next here is my lavender binder, my lower priority binders. So me and mine is getting a nice shiny 50. Right. Somebody asked me what me and mine was on like in one of the comments at one point in time. So basically me and mine, I use for me if I need clothes or if I need scrubs for work or if I need, you know, the rare occurrence of me needing something like makeup or, you know, shampoo or, you know, something like that. Anything that I need personally, this is what this money is for. It's also a treat yourself folder. So, because I don't spend a lot of money on clothes or shoes or makeup or anything like that, sometimes it's just treat myself. Sometimes I see something online or whatever and I go, I want that. I'm getting that. This is where this money comes in from. Me and mine, it's just for me. However I choose to spend it, whether it's on things that I actually need, clothes and such, or just, you know, a fun time. Whether it's a, you know, 
a book or you know something else that I might want. I'm really into <laughs> I'm really into Lego, so if I see a Lego set that I want, this money can go towards it. But you know we're trying to minimize spending. I'm not really spending on myself right now, but that's okay. We put fifty dollars in here, so let's see where we're at. We've got one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, three fifty. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 359 here, and me and mine. Alrighty, and now we've got random. Random is all getting $44. Alright, so we've got 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44 going here in random. And random, while we're on the topic of it, is just the catch-all for everything else, whether it's household supplies, cleaning supplies, or something else that just doesn't neatly fit into any other category. Comes out of random. So in random, we've got 50, 70, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $105. All righty. And random. Alright, next is cats. Cats. Cats is getting $20. So I did go ahead and buy that cat tree for my very spoiled cats. Um, the cat tree that they had was destroyed. I have three cats and they just destroyed it. It looked terrible. I think I had had it for like four or five years and it was time to get a new one. So I got my very spoiled cats a new cat tree. Um, they haven't decided whether or not they like it. My youngest cat, she's okay with it. She'll be up on it. The other two cats, they're not so sure. I don't know if it's just it doesn't smell like them or what they're used to. I don't know. But it's there. If they use it, they use it. If they don't, whatever. I don't care. I already spent the money. So this is a little bit less. Um, I'm probably going to add some money into it for this month of April. And then this, month, this envelope, if I can't think of a reason to keep it, will probably go away. Because I do have vet bills and then litter and food and stuff like that in my bills folder so this is really just like the extra stuff like toys or you know that kind of thing so this might actually just be going away here in the next month so but right now we're adding 20 into it so it has 20 30 31 32 so it has 32 dollars in it Alrighty. next is gifts gifts is getting a 20 Alrighty, and gift size 50, 70, 90, 110, 111, 112, 113. Excuse me, I was trying to like hold back a hip hiccup. It kind of worked. Well, next up is New Tech, a new folder for me in the last month or so. Um, it is getting $35 here. So. 20, 30, 35, going into new tech. This is for like a new TV or a camera to film off of. I don't know, haven't really planned it out yet, but when I figure it out, I'll have the money here. All right, so we got 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63 dollars and new tech. And then all right, next is gonna be medical. Medical is just getting a nice little $10 bill here. All right, so medical looks like it has 120, 31, 131 here in medical. Now this is primarily, for me at least, for new glasses. Um, I mean, I do need to go and visit the old doctor here soon for a you know yearly checkup, but you know, I don't like doctors. I work with doctors. I love the doctors that I work with. However, I don't like going to the doctor as a patient. It's not, it's not my thing. So, um, so this might be a copay for that if I actually get off my butt and schedule an appointment. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Alrighty. Okay. And next up is the 2K Savings Challenge. So, we are stuffing $80, $80 excuse me, I can't speak. No sprecky. Alright, $80 is going to my Savings Challenge. Let's go ahead and get on over here to my handy dandy little checkoff thing. I need to make another one that's actually bigger so you can actually see it. So we're checking off 80, 
looks like we're already done with April. We went, got a little bit ahead, which is cool. I'm I'm all for all for going ahead, getting ahead in savings challenges. So my 26 week or 26 paycheck savings challenge um, was getting that $80. So let's see. And then my 5K and my 8K aren't getting anything because we're just not there right now. I could have totally put something in the 5k or even honestly the 8k if I wanted to. Um, however, I just, I would rather make sure that I have money set aside for when I'm going to be paying for bills by myself. Cause like, you know, even the 8k, like you can kind of see, like they're not that bad, that bad. They're like 250, 270, 280, you know, it's not that bad. I think the highest is 300 except for the bonuses which is 350. And like I had an extra $350 to budget and you know, I ended up just putting it in the month ahead because you know, responsible adulting, which is why month ahead got $400. So maybe if I get a little bit of a nicer stack here in the month ahead folder, I mean, we're at $1,535, then I might start if I have, you know, bonuses or you know bigger paychecks might start throwing stuff start throwing more frequently into the 5k and maybe even the 8k but right now i'm just we're just putting aside money for if and when i need to be able to afford to live by myself because that's super expensive but anyway so that is all i have for you today we stuffed 1649 actual dollars plus the 270 dollars that went for my spending allowances so that was a total of $1,919 for my first paycheck of April. I hope y'all enjoyed. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when I post more videos. All right, so I will see you next week for my next week is... Oh, that's right. That's the one you don't know about that whenever. So I got myself a little bit of a bonus and I'm going to be stuffing that in next week's video. So next Friday, noon, Eastern, uh, Eastern Standard Time, well, that mo uh, video will be going live. So just stay tuned for that. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day, a marvelous weekend, and go ahead and get on that grind and hit your April goals. All right, y'all. Peace.